In today's video, we are going over the best players at each position currently in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. So the plan for the best at each position series is to update these videos every three weeks. And yeah, we are exactly on time, three weeks. Hopefully I keep remembering to do this because I know you guys do enjoy these videos, but we're gonna get started with the quarterbacks. Real easy and our QB shouldn't really be a surprise. And honestly, not much has really changed on the offensive side of the ball. Um, compared to defense where there's been a lot of movement but on offense there really hasn't been that much movement but there is debate here for our quarterback but i think it is steve mcnair i love the slinger one release and oh, his price is kind of dropping his price is kind of dropping i think last time we recorded this actually was he even out last time we recorded this no he was not he actually was not out last time i recorded this what video was he oh he was in the uh madden 21 versus madden 22 video but steve mcnair I think he's the best quarterback in the game right now in my opinion if you like gen 3 maybe you have a guy like cunningham maybe, maybe you have a guy like lamar potentially maybe a guy like russell wilson i'm going with steve slinger one discounted gunslinger um great stats good speed good height good as a ball carrier too um with a good break tackle stuff like that so steve mcnair just too well-rounded cards too dominant from the pocket can literally do everything good flexibility as far as abilities go as well so i'm gonna go with uh steve mcnair here okay so now we have our running backs and yeah the running back landscape right now is absolutely loaded and i was having a really hard time picking a number one running back in the game i think there's like four to five guys that could be in that number one spot right now there's a lot of good options there's a lot of good options right here we're in the uh what the 96 97s but there's just so many good running back options currently in the game i mean dickerson has to be in that conversation i think derrick henry has to be in that conversation michael parsons if we go up here to the 99 98 i think reggie bush could be in that conversation he has good stats um good pass catcher stuff like that i think there's a bunch of there's a bunch of really good options currently in the game so hey let me know down in the comment section who your rb1 is let me know down below because right now i really don't know like i, I don't know if there, there's i don't think there's a clear cut number one i think maybe the last episode there was a clear cut number one i think it was micah but I don't think right now there is a clear cut number one. I think the way the game's kind of starting to play out right now with everyone getting faster from D linemen to linebackers, obviously, I don't think there's a clear cut number one right now. I really don't. So like I said, drop a comment down below on who you think the best running back is. By the way, no theme team, by the way. I do do this without, you know, theme team camps and stuff like that. So who do you guys think the best running back in the game is with no theme team? And don't worry, running back is the only position where I couldn't give you guys a clear-cut number one. But at fullback, I think our clear-cut number one is Mike Allstott. Yes, he's going for about 900k right now. So if you want to ball more on a budget, you could always buy 96 Bernard Pollard. But Mike Allstott is the clear-cut number one. The awareness is there, the lead block, the run block, the impact block, an air truck, 6'1", good speed, good strength. Card is a monster all over the place. Just... 92 juke 98 carrying mike allstott is that guy at fullback that you want if your coin count was unlimited allstott should be your fullback he, he should be your fullback i mean this guy was just a monster when i had him on the team obviously i sold him because i'm not going to hold on to a 900k fullback but he's damn good okay so now we have our wide receivers and while we are looking up our wide receivers i do have just a quick word from our sponsor are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable Madden coins and 2K MT on the market. A link for their website will be right at the top of the description. And do not forget to use code FURTY for 5% off. Okay, so right back to it. And you guys kind of saw who our wide receiver... I mean, I didn't put the wide receivers in order, but I did pick three wide receivers that you guys can kind of choose from. But we're going to go with Calvin here. I mean, he, this card's just a monster, an absolute specimen. Going for only 300K, I'm surprised at the prices of a lot of these receivers right now, but Calvin's damn good. That's all you really gotta know about Calvin Johnson. 6'5", 236 pounds, 97 speed, 99 jumping. The acceleration's there, the strength's there, even the run blocking is very high, impact blocks there. After the catch, even a monster, 97 carrying out receiver with a 98 juke, a 92 stiff arm. Good route running, 6'5". Yeah, I mean, Calvin calvin has to be in the top three wide receivers currently in madden 22 there's just no way that he isn't okay so our next wide receiver really shouldn't be a surprise but we have randy moss kind of the same thing as calvin i may like randy just a little bit more because of his archetype i think calvin if you disregard archetypes if we were playing archetype arca 
archetypeless less football if i said that right give me calvin i think calvin plays better but if we because archetypes are a thing and abilities are a thing i would have to go randy moss for that one ap deep out i love deep out i'm still playing with matchup nightmare i've heard good things about it but deep out is just far superior and it's only one ap on randy so it's kind of tough to beat that but randy only one inch shorter 210 pounds not the run blocker that calvin is but still good after the catch which most randy cards really aren't this good but yeah 97 uh juke move with a 92 break tackle obviously gonna have the route running so uh yeah randy moss 100 percent in the top three okay so wide receiver number three is a difficult one i'm between two names you guys know who i'm between and I'm going to go with Cooper Cup because I didn't give you guys a clear-cut running back. I am going to choose between Cooper Cup and Devontae. I have been using both of their cards, by the way, on my team every single day. So I got a pretty good feel on who's the better card. And I think Cooper Cup is just slightly better. He is slightly better. This card right here was basically a golden ticket that came out in February. Gets all the good wide receiver ability buckets, physical, route runner, deep threat, whatever you want to run, whatever your scheme is, Cup can fit it. People are usually afraid of the jumping. I promise you you're not like it doesn't make a difference I, I promise you if anything i've been impressed by his jumping but 6-2 can do everything run routes nasty after the catch good carrying decent run block for a receiver that can do what he can do so um yeah i'm going cooper cup for the wide receiver three i do think he is just a little bit better than, than Devonte. that's just for me using both the cards and, and just you know i think cooper cup's just too good at, after the catch i think after the catch really puts cooper cup over the top Devontae might have pretty similar if not maybe better stats than him after the catch but i've just always noticed that cooper cup always will break tackles for me he's just a fighter he just wants it more so you gotta split hairs when it comes to these two cards so yeah i mean you could debate either one but uh, yeah i'm gonna go with cooper okay tight end is pretty easy for me i'm gonna go with antonio gates ag for sure i didn't use this card but i did watch some gameplay on him and he's a monster. I mean, I think his card, I think he had a card in 20 or 21. That was absolutely insane. He's very much like that with 95 speed, making him the fastest tight end in the game. But you're also matching that with three route running thresholds and 92 run block, right? Three thresholds, you have three thresholds, 92 run block, crazy impact block, pass blocks there. It's all there. I mean, not pass blocks, not there actually. Pass block is not there, but all the run blocking stats are there. You know, the trucking's there. Can he air truck? He can air truck as well, so i'm gonna go ag without question this card is just different and yeah he is the number one tight end currently in madden 22. okay so now we have our offensive linemen i'm gonna try to get through these guys as quick as possible actually it's probably best if i just go like this go quality i think they're all 98 99s i'm pretty sure they all should be so let's just go through and then we'll just go through each position like this so yeah left tackle we all know who this is going to be. This card is ridiculous, by the way. And we're going to go with, yes, our man Trent right here. Trent Williams, just an absolute monster, dude. Look at these stats. I mean, look at those. Yeah, I mean, if you get him, you're set until Madden 24, I think. Like, I, I think that's how long you're set for. Dude, I mean, they <laughs> I mean, they didn't give him much good. They didn't give him a good spin or anything, but yeah. Okay, Trent Williams is our left tackle our our left guard i believe i went with john Hanna for this one i think it was john Hanna, right did i go john yeah i put john Hanna down all right let it load up john Hanna, 250 only might not be a bad purchase might not be a bad purchase but this card's also a monster the reason why i chose him over who's who's the other guy um andres pete is because of the speed i think the speed is a little bit of a difference between the between linemen as far as getting that second level just a little bit faster does go a long way so that's the reason why i took john Hanna over andres pete because of the slight speed advantage so uh left guard john Hanna, our center we all know who that's gonna be probably my favorite card in the game that i might never own is um is our center but maybe one day he'll get a redux and i'll be able to afford him but um yeah i'm gonna go creed humphrey creed is a monster obviously if you want to save some coins you go with marty's Mar is it marcus or marquis pouncey was it marcus or mark who who's the mike pouncey oh it's mike it's mike what was i saying marquis or yeah i think i said that right right was i saying that right i don't even know if i was but yeah i'm gonna go creed humphrey you guys see why 87 speed he's amazing for that reason and also obviously gonna have crazy stats but the main reason why i love him so much is because of that speed I, I wish i could own this card but it just it would just take too much out of me to spend you know this amount of coins on a center which honestly for five nah it ain't worth that <laughs> it ain't worth that okay 
Next up, we're going to go with our, our right guard. And yeah, it, it's Austin. I've just chose Austin Corbett. Uh, or is it Austin Corbett or Austin Corbett? Is it French? I don't know. But still, almost 80 speed powered up. We'll get to 80 speed. Good stats, good weight. I mean, they are linemen, so I mean, you only can get so good, obviously. There's no animations when it comes to linemen or anything. But um, then we have our right tackle to round off the offense. And did I go Deerdorf? I did go Deerdorf. Again, because I love the speed on Deerdorf. He's going for a milli, though. He's going for a milli, but yeah, the speed's nice. I named 80 speed, 87 acceleration. Obviously going to have crazy run blocking stats, too. So uh, yeah, those are our Madden 22 offensive linemen. So next up, we got our left end. I'm going to go with Patrick Kearney. I use his 93 card on the team right now. I think the edge threat elite is what puts him over the top and does set him apart from the rest of the left ends in this game because, yeah, there are some good ones, but 95 speed off the edge can literally do everything at 6'5", the COD, the impact block, even has 80 catch in traffic for literally no reason, But I do, and also 88 zone. Damn, man, this card is loaded, bro. He is stacked, and he has edge threat elite 2 AP, which is basically edge threat and under pressure in one ability and then that ability is discounted to two so super super glitchy card with super glitchy abilities we're gonna go with patrick for our left end and who is my right end maybe i'll get reminded right here uh oh i know who my right end was okay i know exactly who it was right end's gonna pop up right here and we got chase young i'm gonna go with chase young here man pretty affordable option chase young cards always just play out of their rocker um, yeah, 94 speed, 95 acceleration, power moves there, finesse moves there, block sheds there. And also, his traits are all on yes, which is, is what you want for a uh, before a pass rusher. You want all his traits on yes, because then he can utilize every single spin move that EA allows players to put into their bag. So that's why you guys to chase young Patrick Kearney, who I believe also is the same thing with the traits. Yes, they're all on yes traits, which goes a very long way and puts some pass rushers over the top. So for defensive tackle, we do have a couple of options. I think, you know, Vita Vea could have been this card. I think Will Ford could have been this card. I'm going to go with William Perry. 87 speed, 97 acceleration, powered up. We'll have 99 power moves in the middle. Does have good traits. He does get both the, uh, he does get bull rush traits and also does get swim move traits, which I believe is a finesse move. But having that good a pass rush in the middle is just going to be insane. He's a big body, a good build, has big hitter on yes. Also, can do some things with the ball in his hands. Um, 95 trunk, but yeah, 98 impact block in the middle is just insane. There are the rest of the stats, the pursuit, the block, shit, the play wreck, the hit power at 95. William Perry with the inside stuff on my team has been playing absolutely insane. Okay, so now we're going to get through our linebackers and getting started with our left outside linebacker. It's going to be Charles Haley. There he is. This card is a beast. May have been overlooked a little bit because he kind of came out on a kind of a tough weekend. But Charles Haley, a monster, 94 speed, 92 acceleration, power move, finesse move, traits should be butter. He has every trait but spin move. But um, yeah, still nasty. He's just still absolutely disgusting. 90 and impact block. The hit power is going to be there. The play rex there. The power move, finesse, block shed, pursuit, tackling. Charles Haley is our, is our left outside linebacker. For our middle linebacker, we all should know who this man is and, and what he can do. I bought him, what was it, two days ago, and I haven't looked back. He basically feels like a... He feels like a DB out there. And oh my, has his price spiked. Kind of wish I bought four of them because I would have made about a million coins off of him. But Jayon Brown, going for 700K right now. He was going for, I bought him for 450 two days ago. I bought him for 450 the day that X came out. I believe it was the day X came out. But Jayon Brown basically is a safety. So if you are in a position, or I mean, he's he feels like a safety, but obviously has the block shed and goes crazy like a linebacker. But if you have to use a linebacker, Jayon should be your guy. The main reason why I love him so much is because of that 96-man coverage. And when I use a rush, I can just put Jayon out there and not really worry about him. Like I was worrying about Anthony Barr, I can just put Jayon out there and know he has 96-man coverage as a linebacker and not have to worry about it. This card is just insane against the run and coverage speed-wise. And six foot isn't bad whatsoever. So Jayon Brown is our middle linebacker. I do think he is the clear-cut number one. And for our right outside linebacker, Again, there are options. There are options. I don't think KJ Wright is that guy. I do think we are due for a right outside linebacker. But I'm going to go with Barry still. I still think he is number one. For, for me, he's just been playing insane. He's the best I've seen play. You could say DeMarcus Ware. I think it could definitely be DeMarcus or Barry Sanders. But I think the versatility of Barry 
is just too unstoppable his traits are too good the pre-cooked abilities or pre-baked abilities just too there's too good they're too much for too many linemen um, but 97 speed off the edge and 97 finesse move the blocks at the play rec is actually good on an out of position card and you would think his weight would get him bullied it doesn't it really doesn't at all so i'm gonna go barry sanders for our right outside linebacker so now we have our cornerbacks and just like our receivers we do have three cornerback options I do think number one, not only on this list, but also in the game right now is Mike Haynes. I think he is the best. I think he's the best, the best cornerback in Madden 22 right now. I really do. I mean, look at these stats right here across the board. The 99 press powered up, the 99 man, the 99 zone, all of that base when powered up is just insane. The acceleration does scare me a little bit. That's that's the one thing about this car where I'm like, eh, I don't know, but he's 6'2 with good hands, but reason why i love this card is because he can tackle 84 impact block at receiver is gonna be crazy especially because everyone's gonna have calvin or a lot of people are gonna have calvin which is a really good run blocking tight end i mean i mean i called him a tight end because he blocks like a tight end but he's a really good run blocking receiver you don't want to have a guy like mike Haynes to kind of counteract that if your dude is gonna run the ball a little bit but 90 blockchain 93 pursuit with 92 hit power and is he a big hitter on he does have big hitter on no so you are gonna have to click on and hit but still, having that on a cornerback, all these stats on a cornerback, the coverage side, the run stopping side, the size, all in one card. I think make Mike. I think make. I think makes Mike Haynes number one. That was kind of a tongue twister. We got through it. Cornerback number two. I'm gonna go with Jalen Ramsey. We gotta find him. Oh, his price is kind of up, up, huh? I'm not really. I mean, for 470. I'm surprised that these cards didn't get lower. By the way, very surprised by that. Maybe EA adjusted odds, or maybe less dudes were opening up packs. I saw some people struggling to pull limiteds kind of late yesterday, but um, yeah, here's Jalen Ramsey, full 99. Kind of the same thing as Mike. I think Mike is just better because he's a little bit taller. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to go with Mike though. I, I think I think Mike is just slightly better than Ramsey, but Ramsey's still damn good. So, I mean, if you don't care about what players on your field, what names are on your field, I like Jalen because of his drip, obviously, and he's a cool, and he's kind of just a cool player in general. So I think that might, that might make Jalen Ramsey more popular, but I think Mike Haynes is better as far as your coins and also just how the card plays is in general but i think john john ramsey's definitely still two he's definitely two and for number three i'm gonna go with prime prime plays good coverage he has that insane recovery speed so it has to be prime in my opinion for number three i mean there are guys like charles woodson night train lane but i always had night train and charles right behind dion so i'm not going to change that now dion still plays great for me animates on balls that you would think he shouldn't um after i mean once the ball's in his hands he's ridiculous i do put him on kick return because he's really like that sometimes but yeah Deion sanders i do think is cornerback three in this game so the receivers are in order i mean sorry the corners are in order the receivers are also in order i would probably say too i'd probably say they're in order as well but yeah i think one mike haynes two jalen ramsey three Deion sanders okay so next up we have our safeties and real quick i do want to say that this guy right here i always forget to put him on tier list and rankings videos but Cam Chancellor, I do think is the best strong safety in the game right now, mainly because of all team cams getting special, you know, X factor ability, stuff like that. I do think the goal 99 Cam Chancellor is number one, but I'm just going to do cards that we get off the auction house. So just know that this card is nasty. If you have him, do not switch for today's strong safety. But um, yeah, getting started with our free safety, we got Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is a beast. Discounted acrobat with these stats at 220 and 62. He's going for a mil for a reason he is really like that he is really oh my goodness this card is crazy so yeah sean taylor i think by far i would say by far is the best free safety in the game i don't think it's really close i mean actually now with brian dawkins it is definitely closer but it's i mean yeah i i think even if b Doc had the pre-baked acrobat it would be close but he can't hit the man threshold I'm probably, yeah, I'm going Sean T by far, actually, still. And when I say by far, it's not obviously that far. I mean, Dawkins, I mean, Dawkins is probably worth it if you're looking for a free safety, only 300K. I mean, is the difference between Sean Taylor and Brian Dawkins 700K or maybe 800K? No, but um, yeah, I do think Sean T as far as how, how they play wise is just the best. But for our strong safety, I'm going to go with Bernard Pollard, Bernard bernard pollard i think on the auction house right now he's the best you can buy obviously like i said cam chancellor is better than this guy but bernard pollard is the best safety i've used so far this year 
um, the best, or should I say, strong safety. I used Sean T for a very short amount of time. Never had him on my team, but I was on Jock setup using Sean T, and I've never seen a card play like he's really played before. But Bernard Pollard at strong safety, he's been the best strong safety that I've put on my team and given abilities and, and I've used for a long amount of time. He's been the best. So I gotta go with Bernard Pollard. This card just is a monster, can do everything. The impact block, he's a run stopper. That is just insane in coverage. And he's six foot one, 225. So just absolutely insane in coverage. So now we're gonna go with our kicker and punter. I'm gonna go Justin Tucker for the kicker. And the punters have kind of been dry, but it is Michael Dixon because he is just the best by I think three overalls right now in the game at, at the punter position. So we're gonna go Michael Dixon. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for the best players at each position currently in Madden 22. If you have any comments, if anyone what you guys feel like was snubbed, drop a comment down below. And if you are still watching the video up to this point, hit that like button. It does help the video get out to more people. And if you enjoyed the video, hopefully someone else will as well. So um, yeah, that is going to do it. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.